Ladies and gentlemen, this is a YouTube show in which you are brought Slot Machine Sunday, Money Cards Monday, Tic Tac Tuesday, Whammy Mania Wednesday, Thundercracker Thursday, and Flinging Dice Friday and Saturday Superstar Arcade. Also, wrestling news from Raw, NXT 2.0, AEW Dynamite, NXT UK, Impact Wrestling, SmackDown and 205 Live, and AEW Rampage, and special episodes from Rodin' Up, Cyber Swaggin, and the Philosophies of Lima Cleese. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube show of fun, of knowledge, strategy, luck, and daring. And mental shenanigans. This is WEML TV channel 77. And now here's the host of the show live from New Bedford, Massachusetts. It is none other than Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Hello there. This is is your friendly neighborhood bumbling both a raver, meaning I was the only person so far in the stream yard circle of friends to appear in an episode of the Bumbling Bozos variety program. Both is on the sofas and rant and rave, which I am a, panel, a regular panelist of. I'll be appearing on the Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast this Saturday at 7 o'clock on the Elite JC TV YouTube channel. Check us out there. And not only that, I will I will be um, doing a Saturday Superstar Cake. Once again, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This time around, the new tracks. The new tracks. Got them downloaded right here. It's in this thing. Can't wait. Can't I can't wait to try out the new tracks. I saw them on YouTube. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Good. <clears throat> this is episode 1066, March 17, 2022, 7 24 p.m. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all to, to any um to anybody who is Irish or of Irish descent until the people in Ireland. Happy St. Patrick's Day. A salute to you. An honor. I'm wearing green, even though it's a, uh, our true shirt, but it's green nonetheless. So um check us out on Rant and Rave at 8 o'clock later tonight. We'll be paying tribute to Scott Hall towards the end of the show. Um, Brandon Martin is going to be at a baseball game uh, doing some PA announcing. So, Jordan Little, myself, Yuri Albara, and Michael Mabardier will be holding down the fort. So, let's get right going for NXT UK um, Event Center, shall we? And uh, this is a doozy. Um, they have three, uh, four matches on the card. A lot of segments happening. Let's get right to it. Kick it off is the um, is one half of the tag t NXT UK Tag Team Champions, the big strong boy, Mr. Tyler Bate, to go up against uh, Oliver Carter. So, uh, and, you know, I don't want to call him master uh, as far as Tyler Bate is concerned. <laughs> I had to make a joke in there. Uh, Tyler Bate was accompanied by Trent Seven. His other championship partner and good friend, uh, Oliver Carter, was accompanied by Ashton Smith. It was a heck of a matchup until Ashton Smith got into it with um, with Trent Seven, but it provided a distraction for Oliver Carter because he Tyler Bate was distracted. Oliver Carter capitalized, and Tyler and Oliver Carter picked up the biggest huge uh, a big upset over Tyler Bate. But it seems like uh, Trent Seven is trying to calm him down, saying, listen, just one loss, no big deal. But it's a huge win for Oliver Carter. Ready and forward, always forward. So uh, so we got that. A-Kid was interviewed after a good performance um, this past Tuesday night NXT against Kushida. As you know, A-Kid will try to qualify for the uh, North American Championship ladder match as he goes against Grayson Waller this coming Tuesday. However, he's got some business, unfinished business with D Familia as Tailman, Rohan Raja, and Charlie Dempsey. And he said, You looking for a partner? You, uh, you, how about um, finding a partner against D Familia? You know what? He's at a photo shoot. I'm going to talk to him right now. And he appears at the photo shoot with the superstar, and it was Saxon Huxley. And he goes, Saxon, you remember me? The rain spade falls mainly on the plane. And he was trying to, trying to be proper etiquette. Do you want to be my partner against D Familia? 
He goes, yes! I like Saxon Huxley. There he goes! There goes Saxon Huxley! And A-Kid's pretty happy about that. Does A-Kid know what he's getting into while teaming up with Saxon Huxley? I gotta ask that question, man. Because that guy, you know, like I said, Saxon Huxley reminds me a lot of the Berserker. Trust me. It's nuts. Then Wild Boar was in some kind of factory cutting a pro on Eddie Dennis saying that he's responsible for the torture that he went through this past year and he's going to make Eddie Dennis pay. Women's Action, uh, Nina Samuels, host of the Nina Samuels show, went up against Amelia McKenzie, who was the uh, protege student of N current NXT UK Women's Champion, Mako Satomura, who's got her hands full. Uh, Amelia McKenzie um, handled, um, handled great work against Nina Samuels, picking up the victory. Over, over the host of the Nina Samuel show, Mark Coffey. Uh, Mark Coffey emerged from Sid Scala's office, and the cameraman interviewed him. Says, "Hey, what's going on?" He says, "Well, guess who's got an NXT UK Heritage Cup title shot?" So, and he was about to ask, and until, and then he was about to say something. Then uh, Joe Coffey, his brother, appeared. He goes, "Guess who's getting the you, you know, title shot?" He goes, uh, "I'm getting a rematch." Nope. Uh, Wolfie's getting a rematch. No, me. I'm gonna get a shot at it. I know some uh, know some weaknesses in Noam Dar. I'm gonna exploit them, and I'm bringing the Heritage Cup to Gallus. So this is Mark Coffey's huge opportunity to do so. I'm really excited about that, and so is uh, Joe Coffey for that matter. Kenny Williams discovered a note in his locker room while being interviewed. He says that it says that there is a lot of enemies, cockroach, and I think there's only one person that called him a cockroach. And we all know Sam Gradwell, the Thunderstorm, is still targeting him after what he did to his hair. If I were Kenny Williams, I'd watch my back. And then Symbiosis went to Sid Scala's office. He said, you came to see us? He goes, yes. Wild Boar, you know, and he was upset with Wild... Um, Eddie Dennis was upset with Wild Boar. He said, what's the match with you? He said, no, no, no. I'm just a manager now. Get get him a match against Tyson Tebow or Primate or, you know. And so Sid Scala thought about it. He goes, I'm going to give a phone call to Johnny Singh. So we'll see what happens there. Boar wants Eddie Dennis. More women's action on the, on the card as Aaliyah James took on Stevie Turner. And Aaliyah James, who in real life is dating Noam Dar. So Noam Dar could stop fawning over Alicia Fox. I'm starting to wonder if I see a spider up there or something. Good thing I'm getting out of this room pretty soon. Anyways, uh, Aaliyah James did pick up the victory over Stevie Turner. Speaking of Noam Dar, him and Sasha Samuels were cutting the promo on Gallus, and Sasha Samuels says, I got. Some bets taken about, and then somebody fell on the phone. Oh, they'll, they'll take Mark, and you know, and Noam Dar. Is that, I thought he was flipping out, but he started. They still both start laughing. He's going to make a lot of money off uh, off of this matchup. So, <laughs> so uh, if, I'm sure Mark Coffee better get wind of what they're up to, and Mark Coffee is going to make sure they lose all their. Uh, make sure that Gallus takes the money too. So this is going to be a good good matchup for sure. Isla Don and Mako Satomura. A little uh, exchange of words and different uh, separate promos for the NXT UK Women's Championship happening next week, which is will be the main event of the matchup. And Isla Dawn says, the Isla Dawn you faced before is gone. This is a different Isla Dawn. So, like I said, it's going to be very interesting. Mako something more says she's not afraid. I think Isla Dawn is going to put her to the test, not only physically, but mentally. We will see. The main event, Wolfgang of the Gallus Firm took on... Uh, a man making his debut in the NXT UK for the very first time, his NXT UK debut. Um, NXT 2.0 st uh, standout, former Cruiserweight and North American and Tag Team Champion, Roderick Strong. And uh, as leader of the Diamond Mine as well, Roderick Strong and Wolfgang, what a matchup. But in the end, Roderick Strong picked up the victory. But he grabs the microphone, issues a challenge to Ilya Dragunov. He says, you know what, I want I want to fight you. Make the challenge, but the ball's in your court. And then in digital exclusive, Ilya Dragunov was watching. So let's hope. Uh, let's let's hope they that'll be a great matchup. Ilya Dragunov, Roderick Strong, that's great. All right, that's all the time we have on this show. Uh, I'm going to get ready for Rant and Ray, which will be happening in less than half an hour. Hopefully, um, they, I get the link for it. And if not, somebody is going heads are going to roll for this one. So, so. I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful night. And remember, um, over here in New Bedford, it's going to be near 70 degrees tomorrow, which is going to be, I say near 70 because it's upper 60, 68 degrees. Very mild weather. 
uh, for this time of year, especially in the twilight, winter. Remember, three days left, and it'll be two days left tomorrow. And tomorrow's payday. That means it's going to be Friday. And you know what that means from dice, some Flinging Dice Friday. So, uh, for high rollers tomorrow, I want to do Impact Wrestling as well. Tomorrow as well. And the weekend, more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm going to try out the new tracks. I saw the new tracks. They look great. They look pristine. Can't wait. All right? So, I'll see you later. Until the next episode, I wish you all the peace. Love and the Lord Jesus Christ gives you the ble gives you the blessing from me. So he hands me the blessings and I hand you the blessings as well. I share the blessings with you all. Okay? Because God loves you and so do I. I'll see you later. You guys have a wonderful night. Episode 1066 complete. <laughs>